Alright, hey guys, it's Frank. Um, I never really record these, so you're gonna have to bear with me here. I don't really have a channel or anything, so. Alright, so I'm gonna go through the arguments here. Right? I started off by saying I think that uh, Social Security should be privatized. Alright, which means that I think that the government should approve mutual funds in particular that people can invest uh, their 4% in, but they're required to pay the 4%. Alright? Nick T here thinks that there should be no social security system at all, which means that people are not forced by the government to pay a certain percentage of their income to, in the future, benefit from it. Alright? And it's a clear fact that the money you pay now, one day when you're retired, goes to you. That's what Social Security is. And maybe I assumed he knew what it meant. You know, maybe I assumed he knew what the system was all about before all of this, and maybe that's what the problem is here, right? Social Security isn't just for retirees, it's also for people who are born with disabilities, people who also, um, you know, they get hurt on the job or something like that, or, you know, some sort of accident happens to them that they're able to, uh, you know, afford to live, basically, without being, uh, you know, without being able to work, right? So basically, Nick T's plan to fix our social security system isn't to, you know, change it around different tax rates, blah, 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 anything like that. It's to completely get rid of it, which in itself is kind of a fallacy because the way you want to fix it is by stopping it, which really doesn't make sense to me at all. Uh, he says he agrees with the ideals of the social security system and that we think he thinks that we should... Uh, you know, that people shouldn't be fucked over in life and that people, you know, should be should be helped one way or another, but yet he wants to eliminate uh, what basically does that, which is Social Security, right? He comes, I asked him then, you know, so you don't want Social Security, right? You, you don't want the system at all. So, like, how do you, what's your plan to help people? Because you're telling me you want to help people who are older and the... You know, the, his, which I call alternatives, which he thinks aren't alternatives to Social Security, but I, I think they essentially are because Social Security's purpose is to help people who are retired and disabled. And, you know, I asked Nick T, you know, what his alternatives are to Social Security, and he said that it's people uh, helping to pay into food banks and charities and for people when you're retired to have yourself save up money from your whole lifetime of working, which ideally those things really would help. They would help ideally, but let's be honest here. People work their whole lives trying to make ends meet. You know, you see the poverty rate at 15% already, like, you know, that's, that's ridiculous. You can't expect people to save up to pay for when they can't work in, you know, the rest of their lives. You know, that's just, it's ridiculous. I mean, maybe earlier on in, you know, um, our our, you know, our economy, like, earlier on, like, in times, like, in the 1900s, maybe, like, early 1900s, you, we could have maybe gone that approach, but it's too late now, and that's the problem. So, basically, he states these to help, these reasons to help people, all right? And basically, what I said is, this isn't going to help people, like, this, this alone isn't going to help people. You need Social Security, and he insists that Social Security be, be taken away, be, you know, whatever the fuck he called, scrapped, all right? Basically... I consider that to be fucking people over, all right? And obviously that's an opinion or whatever, all right? But when I tell them on your Facebook, you know, on the comments here that so you're in favor of really fucking people over, well, that's my opinion of it. And all he wants to do is argue over whether he ever said fucking people over in his argument at all. He completely diverts the, you know, topic to, you know, to stupid things like, you know, is it the government's responsibility to help people? Well, yeah, I do, but that's a huge debate. That's not even what we're talking about right now. So really, this is what I think. So basically, Nick T, I think, is really just, he's taking the, deba he's taking the debate over how we can fix Social Security and making it more, making it more like, uh, just really a debate over what, what he said in in the conversation, which really doesn't make sense. It clearly doesn't make sense at all. Like he basically all he's been arguing about the past ten minutes has been whether whether the things I've said about him are true or not. Which is which is total. It's like a fallacy. That's not what we're talking about here. He's running away from the main argument. All right. That's what I think. All right. Five minutes has gone by. 
you guys can comment on this however you want. Uh, I'm just trying to put this into a little thing here. I just think we're not on the same topic here, and I think he's using it as like an escape strategy because he, I think he knows that he's wrong, that the ways that he said would help people really aren't going to help people. All right, I think he just needs to admit that. So uh, your turn, Nick. Your turn.